Oh. Here. Why do the Democrats react with such panic every time a, a, a responsible budget is presented? A budget that would limit the growth of government, that would hopefully eventually reduce the size of government, a budget that would return economic liberty and freedom and power to the American people. Why is there the panic? Why is there this outrageous, extremist reaction to it? Well, the simple fact is, speaking of dead and dying, the simple fact is that the Democrats are deathly afraid that we are going to take away their power to enslave people. The Democrat Party is to this government what plantation owners were to slavery. This is indentured servitude. This is how the Democrat Party looks at the citizens. We are going to reduce the size of government. We are going to enhance individual liberty and economic liberty. Democrats get their power by enslaving minorities through welfare. Let's just say it the way it really is. They create a class of utter dependent slaves, people who end up being addicts, who know no other way to get through the day, who know no other way to get through life. Enslave them to government for virtually everything, and this is crucial, that they need. When your needs are beyond your ability to provide, you are indebted, you are indentured to those who are providing them. This is why I said yesterday and on numerous previous occasions, the Democrat Party is an assault on human dignity. The Democrat Party is an attack on freedom. The Democrat Party busts up American families. The Democrat Party denies individual ambition. It retards it. In exchange for their never-ending votes to the Democrat Party, minorities in any other constituent group are given handouts for their needs, and they are told by the Democrats that their economic situation was caused by the Republicans. The Civil Rights Coalition goes further. They say that their problems, their economic situation, been caused by white people. Any cut in social spending, no matter where, no matter how little, threatens this arrangement. So the Democrat Party enslaves minorities, enslaves the poor. The Democrat Party exploits the lazy. And it's not just minorities. Anybody who's too lazy or too afraid to look out for themselves. The Democrat Party is waiting to glom onto them and basically turn them into parasites. And it is that process that I maintain it's dis- that, that it is destroying people's dignity. And Democrats, of course, do this under the guise of compassion. Uh, They do it under the guise of caring about the downtrodden, caring about the little guy. On the other hand, we, as conservatives, as I said in my first address to the nation at CPAC, we love people. We want the best for everyone. We believe in the power of the individual to be the best he or she can be based on whatever degree of ambition and effort people want to apply. And we'd prefer not to get in the way of that process, because we want a great country. We want a roaring economy. We want economic prosperity for everyone. We don't like the sight of indentured people We don't like the notion that in the wealthiest, most prosperous country in the history of humanity, that there are hordes of people dependent, people self-reliant. It's in there. Everybody is capable of it. The Democrat Party robs 
people of this aspect of their character. Glom onto them like you can't believe, and do it all under the, under the guise of compassion. And say it's necessary because the Tea Party now, or conservatism, or Republicans, or what have you, don't care about you. When in fact, it's precisely the opposite. We're at the 150th anniversary of the Civil War, and we are still trying to free the slaves from the Democrat Party. Yeah, I do look at it that way. The simple fact is, the Democrats, the reason there is this hysteria, this beyond reason hysteria, is because any reduction in the size of government, any reduction in the reach of government, takes away the power the Democrats have to enslave people. You know it as well as I do. That is how they derive their power. It's from the dependence, or the dependency, I should say, of people on government. And the very idea that they are the ones with compassion as they sit and actively destroy people's lives and futures. Now that is what ticks me off. This is what angers me. And this is why, ladies and gentlemen, this is why there is this hysteria reaction, hysterical reaction every time serious proposals are made to reduce the size of government by way of the budget or what have you. There's utter panic. The Democrats know the tenuous hold they have on people. They know that they would not be able to continue to pull all this off if it were not for a slavish media that constantly espouses their message in a public relations sense. 